I used to live in a condo with a very small front yard. Although it was a nice place, it was not really ideal for gardening. In my new place, I did have quite a bit of real estate in my bathroom, which I was using to store my homebrewing fermenters. I figured there would be enough space in here to do some indoor gardening. Let me show you my indoor garden build. Greensmachines.com Since I was pretty experienced with DWC systems back in college and at home, I figured it would be best to keep it simple and use that technology again. However, the challenge running indoors would be giving the appropriate lighting without breaking the bank on electricity costs. I was able to construct a downsized frame where the lights could be suspended over the growing container. I learned from my first build that a 10 gallon tote with more rigid walls is a lot better than a 30 gallon container with flimsy walls. Luckily the frame fit perfectly over the 10 gallon tote. Dimension wise, it is approximately 26 inches by 19 inches by 20 inches tall. The links and fittings cut to create this frame are the following. With the frame and tote in place, it was time to start working on the lighting. I watched a few videos and purchased a few power strips and socket adapters, which set up a nice lighting rig as portrayed. For this setup, the power strips have been zip tied to the top of the frame facing downwards. The light bulb in this attempt are 60 watt LED bulbs with a temperature of 5000K. I wired up the power strips to a timer, which was plugged into a surge protector on a GFCI plug. It was time to see if the rig setup would turn on. Yes, the setup did work, and it should do the job. I have these lights plugged into the mechanical timer which run for 14 hours per day. With the lights in place, I zip tied the surge protector running the timer to the frame. The tote was prepared for the net pots by drilling 2 inch holes at approximately 5 inch spacing. For a system of this spacing and net pot size, small plants like lettuce and basil are ideal. Tomatoes and peppers would be far too large for this setup. I experimented with adding reflectors as to not blind myself on a daily basis. Reflectors would also help concentrate the light downwards toward the plants. This design pictured here did not make it too far. With the progression of this system build, it was time to get my seedlings underneath the lights. This is also time to get some airflow over the seedlings too. I purchased a 6 inch clip on fan for this. This fan is hooked up onto a separate timer which runs at 15 minutes on, 30 minutes off. The fan is needed to prevent the ceilings from getting too leggy. I found some cardboard and lined that with some aluminum foil to act as a reflector. This was exactly what I needed. At this stage I had the light directed straight at the ceilings, but this would eventually change. The top of the frame was covered with a full board lined with foil at this point. Eventually I came to realize that the lighting needed needed to be buffed up significantly in order for my seedlings and plants to grow. I downloaded an app to my phone which used its camera to detect the amount of lumens being projected onto an area. After upgrading the lights, the lumens doubled from around 8,000 to 19,000. Due to the way the lumen formula is, the further the distance, the less light reaches the destination. That's not too bad for 860 watt equivalent bulbs but this does double my electric bill also. The final touches on the system were the installation of the remaining reflector panels along with the air pump and tubing to aerate the system. I used a very simple aquarium pump. The pump was hooked up to 8th inch airline tubing through a hole drilled through the top of the tote. This was connected to a T splitting off the two air stones. That completes the build. You can find a link to the parts list of what I used to build this thing. Based on that in the photos, you should be able to replicate this yourself. Remember, do not mix electricity and water. Also below there is a link to the guide for the nutrient blend I used to grow these plants. This growth time lapse should be evidence alone that it works. <laughs>